well-being is about the quality of life for individuals, but it's much broader than that. It's actually about um, healthier workplaces, workplaces that care about the mental health and well-being of their employees. It's also about resilient communities. It's about communities that thrive. It's one of those wonderful holistic terms that refers to a, a whole person, the whole person from the social, from the um, physical, from the mental and the spiritual part of that person. Wellbeing is important because it supports the prevention and the early intervention of mental illness. Um, what we know is that mental health sits along a continuum from wellness all the way through to severe mental illness. Um, wellbeing is important to people no matter where they are along that mental health continuum. The reason why we're pursuing this idea of wellbeing is because to some extent we know the other approach doesn't work. Uh, if we take an approach of um, better services for people who experience mental illness, we tend to be in the crisis uh, medical end of the model rather than in the prevention and early intervention end of the model. Once you actually accept that your goal is to improve the mental health and well-being of the community, you naturally start asking questions about what impacts on that. And we know that it's housing and education, employment, social engagement, all of those things, and including a person's normal physical health. The New South Wales Mental Health Commission have provided a space. So we've provided a space for government agencies, non-government and community organisations to come together and collaborate on wellbeing initiatives. So the work of the Wellbeing Collaborative will help Family Community Services and us to really work collaboratively with other agencies to focus on individuals and communities in a way that we haven't done before. So we're really focusing on the person, the person's strengths and the community and family jointly as opposed to tackling those issues separately. We need a wellbeing collaborative to work in this space between government and non-government agencies so that we can develop that evidence base. We actually need to have peers who can give us advice from time to time. So we want to try and make sure we've got access to relevant experts in the area, but we want to learn from each other in terms of the successes that some of us will have in working in this space and to share that information as quickly as we possibly can. So this is a, an ongoing commitment to collaborate uh, across government and non-government uh, and to work together to improve community wellbeing.